Today we're making kale and sausage soup. Now I've got this thing loaded up guys. We're putting all kinds of vegetables in there. I love the soup. It's got some celery and carrots and onions. I've got some white beans, some ground turkey, some sausage, butternut squash. I tell you, it's packed with nutrition and you're gonna love it. So I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. All right, guys, this soup is so delicious on a cold, wintry day. You know, it's just, and it's nutritious, and it really is satisfying. So let's go over those ingredients. Here's what we have. We have some Adele sausage. These are already cooked, and they have lots of different flavors, and the ingredients are really the best, in my opinion. I like the fact that they're non-GMO, and they're gluten-free, etc. I also have some ground turkey here, uh, tomatoes I cut into quarters, and here we have some butternut squash, which you can buy already cut up like this, or you can cut it yourself. Over here I've got some kale. Now with the kale, what you want to do is give it a nice rinse, you know, get all the dirt off of it, and then peel all of the leaves off of the main stem that runs down the center of each piece. Then once you do that, then you're just going to want to tear the pieces into bite-sized pieces so that it's easier to eat. Here I have my, uh, what's called a mirepoix, this is a French term, and it's just a combination of carrots, celery, and onion. Now I'm using a leek for my onion in this case here because leeks work really well in soup and, and it has a very mild taste. And we'll also need some chicken broth, which I have here, I'm using an organic brand. And we have some white beans, which you can either use canned or you can do like I did as I cooked mine, or first I soaked them overnight the beans in some water. It helps to release the uh, phytic acid in there, makes it easier to digest, that's why I soak them. And then they cooked up in some water in you know just merely 30 minutes or so. We'll need some olive oil, salt and pepper, and a little Parmesan cheese for garnish. We're gonna start off by roasting our butternut squash and the tomatoes in the oven. So I have my oven preheating to 425 degrees and I'm adding a little bit of olive oil to the butternut squash and I'm just gonna to toss it up a little bit. And I'm just gonna pour it out onto my tray here. I have a foil covered tray just to make it easier uh, cleanup. So you wanna spread those out so that, you know, they're in a single layer. And with the tomato, I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of oil over this. And just coat them a little bit and add them to the tray. Now we're gonna roast these in the oven, like I said, 425 for about 20 minutes or until the butternut squash is soft. So in the oven we go. While our butternut squash is roasting in the oven, now is the time we're gonna start cooking up our mirepoix. So I've got my frying pan here over medium high heat and I'm gonna add a tablespoon or so of olive oil. And now I'm gonna add the mirepoix. So I'm just gonna pour this, oops, pour that in. And we're gonna saute this until the carrots and everything get nice and soft and the onions, you know, cook down a little bit. And this is where we're gonna get a lot of our good flavor. And then I'll give just a little touch of salt to this. All right, so our mirepoix here has been cooking for actually about 20 minutes. I wanted to get those carrots nice and soft. So this is, uh, this looks like it's done now. And I'm gonna turn off the heat and I'm gonna let this cool. It's been 30 minutes, so now I'm gonna pull out the butternut squash and the tomatoes. And I'm gonna let them sit here and cool as well. All right, so I'm gonna place all of the mirepoix into the blender. It's cooled off a bit. You wanna let it cool for about five minutes before you try and uh, put it in your blender. Now I'm also gonna place the tomatoes in here as well, the roasted tomatoes. So we'll plop those right in there. And now I'm gonna add just a little bit of some chicken broth, maybe, maybe a cup's worth, just to liquefy this. And then we'll blend it up. So I'm gonna pour this into my big pot. And I'm gonna add some chicken broth so I can get all that out of there. Add that to our pot. Now we're gonna cook up our turkey. Just gonna place that in my fr same frying pan that I used before. I'm cooking this over medium high heat. Add a little salt, a little pepper, and I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder. All right, our turkey looks like it's done. You wanna drain off the fat, and then I'm gonna add it to the soup.
it's time to add the butternut squash. And I'm going to add another container of chicken broth. Now you can add as much as you like it thin. So obviously add more if you like it really, really thin. I like mine a little bit on the thicker side. Now I'm gonna slice up the sausages, just cut them into thin little wheels. Now I've got the soup going right now on, uh, on low. I wanna make sure it's nice and hot because we still have to cook it some more with the kale in it. And I'll just toss these in. So I'm gonna add the kale now and we're gonna cover it and then we're gonna simmer it for about 20 minutes or until the kale gets to the consistency that you like. I like it pretty, pretty soft. So I'm just gonna toss all this in. Seems like a lot, but it's gonna cook down, so don't worry. And I'm gonna add just a little bit more of that chicken broth. Toss all that in. All right, guys, we're ready for our last addition. Our soup has been simmering now for about 20 minutes, and you can see that the kale has cooked down quite a bit. So did you notice I haven't added the beans yet? And the reason is, is I didn't want them to get mushy. So I'm adding them right now at the end, and then we'll be able, we'll just let this, you know, simmer for another one or two minutes till they get hot, and then we can serve this up. All right, guys, our soup is done, and I'm telling you, it smells really good in here. Ooh, that's a hot soup, let me tell you. Yeah, you gotta check this out. Wow, this looks so good. So hearty, and it's a cool evening, and I uh, can't wait to dig in, I tell you. All right, here we go. Here's our soup. It smells really, really good, guys. I, oh, and let's add a little bit of Parmesan cheese, if you like. I, I love Parmesan cheese, just a little sprinkle. You know, if I can take taste, it's gonna be really hot. I don't wanna get burnt. Boy, I tell you guys, the flavors, it's, it's rustic, it's, it's warm, it's, it is delicious, guys, and I really do hope you'll try it. Guys, if you can, do me a favor and share the video on Facebook or social media that you like to use. It all helps me out, really. I do appreciate it very much. So thanks for watching, everybody. If you haven't subscribed yet, you like this video, you wanna see more, go ahead and click that button up there and you'll be notified when a new video comes out. All right, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know how you like the video and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.